This is literally all that Lonnie Walker ever needed. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? So Lonnie Walker is a very good player, okay? He can play basketball pretty good. But one thing that he's always lacked, and I think you already know what it is, it's confidence. But finally, it seems as if Lonnie Walker is becoming a little bit of arrogant, and I a little bit of like it. Now, Lonnie Walker has recently had this interview, which is just a press conference, right? And it was posted by Spurs IG in the snippet. I wanna play it for you, but there's quite a few things about Lonnie Walker that we speculated and we were actually completely right. And he has already confirmed it, um, where this confidence is coming from. But let's go ahead and play this and yeah, see what you guys think about this. Still a step slower. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta get back to myself. I mean, it felt good, but still knocking the rust off just a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. So you might listen to that. And the first thing you say is, oh, he's just being kind of humble. No, no, no. If you watch this game, this is coming off of a game in which Lonnie Walker had a posterizer. Um, he had many of shots that were very impressive. I would say almost, no, I would, I would just say this. Every single one of his shots were impressive in that game. It was some crazy layups. It was Lonnie Walker at his best, what we know he's capable of being. And ever since Derek White was traded, Lonnie Walker has been more and more confident. Confident. In this game in particular, the reason why I think it was pretty special, not only because we kind of saw Houston Lonnie, and we've seen Houston Lonnie for, for a little while now, but it's because, honestly, it felt as if he had 30 points this game. I mean, every single one of his shots were so impressive, it felt as if he had 30. I was very shocked at the end of the game to see that he only had like 13. It made no sense whatsoever because he was playing so well. He was by far the heart of the team, especially that game. And it even rubbed off on our boy Joshua Primo. And Josh Primo even came alive in that game. So overall, very impressive by Lonnie. And anyone that just watched the game knows that Lonnie Walker was a maniac. Now, with that being said, that was some arrogance that was some sure confidence that he just spoke with to say that oh yeah i'm still i'm still getting the rust off that was confidence now with that being said there's one thing that we speculated before where is this lonnie walker confidence coming from in which we did a video is lonnie walker getting trained by mono ginobili and it was it was sheer speculation okay lonnie walker said earlier in the season that he's been all up in Monte Ginobili's ear and that Monte Ginobili is getting tired of him at that point. And that was, that was months ago. Okay. So this was sure, um, sheer speculation. And I just sat back and I said, maybe Monte Ginobili is the reason why his confidence has spot has spiked. And, uh, he's actually confirmed it. So if you see here, here's an article, Manu has really helped me. Now, if we scroll down, this is what he had to say about Manu Ginobili. When I was kind of in my slumps and having my ups and downs and everything, he was one of the main people that really wanted me to be consistent with my confidence and just grow from it all. And if we scroll down a little bit more, he says, Manu has really helped me just to stay its course and stay confident through it all. So yes, it actually was Manu Ginobili, uh, a big reason why Lonnie Walker is getting the confidence that he's getting i think it's a i think it's a plethora of things though i think it's not only Derek white being traded and lonnie walker having to take on a more specific role and not just being a scorer it's more so put the ball in your hands and go to work not only that we're getting near the end of the season and obviously he wanted to get a pretty nice contract going into next season but not only that, I will also say, especially this past game, it's because DJ was out and he got even more uh, playing time and they trust him even more. So Lonnie Walker overall, he has been so confident. And every time I, I say this, I know it sounds crazy the more we say it, but Houston Lonnie was a real thing. That was a game in which we were actually seeing Lonnie Walker at his peak. It being so young, it was some crazy potential there. And I have to say, Every one of these last few games, I would say since Derek White's been traded, most of the time Lonnie Walker has finished pretty strong. Like I've been very impressed by him. And statistic wise, people would just say, oh, it's not that big a deal. He's not playing that well. But it really is one of those things where it's all in the mentality, man. Now, while he's averaging 12 points, you know, that's not crazy great, but it, it you got to just contextualize it. Lonnie Walker has been playing fabulous and he has been confident. And this even shows even more this, uh, this press conference that the man is, the man is ready. 
and we really need to thank Mona Ginobili for this because that is um, that seemed like an in, in, impossible task to get Lonnie Walker out of his own head but he is out of there and he is unleashing so hopefully he keeps it up he's kept it up over the past couple months I would say so hopefully he just keeps that up but we'll see um, you guys let me know what you think I, I'm actually really hype about this I'm happy that Lonnie Walker is turning into Houston Lonnie once again and yeah I, I'm fully on board with with signing them back fully on board so let me know what you think I'll give it to you guys later oh if you want to support the channel only two dollars per month patron and YouTube members only two dollars per month okay only only two dollars some people give more but it's only two dollars per month I'll give it to you guys later till next time deuces